Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man, and this is a room tour video of room 6233 here on board the Celebrity Ascent. Room 6233 is a solo infinite veranda room, which means it is made for only one guest. And there is a lot of space in here for only one person. It's a very nice room. And the first thing I'll show you upon entering the room, just right inside the door, is the closet. There is a closet here, and again, because it is just a room for one person, not a very large closet, but plenty of hangers there, enough hangers to do you probably for a good week-long cruise, if not more. There are, for some strange reason, two robes inside of this room. I don't know if that's a mistake or if that should actually be two robes. Um, and then down below, there's actually an umbrella that you can use while you're on the cruise. Plenty of uh, storage space in here, and I will recommend to you, and you'll see as we go throughout the room, that maybe you bring some packing cubes or something you can put in the bottom of the closet as there are not many drawers at all in this room which like i said we'll see in just a second so uh, continuing past the closet um, you can see all the way into the room of course the infinite veranda and then right here on the left just inside the room is the bathroom and before we go into the bathroom i did want to show the display here on the wall and this display actually is where you control the climate in the room so your thermostat here i've got mine turned all the way down to 66 degrees and you see it's on 69 degrees right now um, you can also control the blinds over there for the infinite veranda so I can click this button here and it will very slowly start to uh, bring down the shade you can see it coming down over there that's all controlled here but I'm gonna keep it up right now a little tip though you see the room is 69 despite me having it on 66 if you do want the room to be cooler you are gonna have to close the shade maybe even the partitions over there because it's really hard to keep these rooms these infinite veranda rooms cool that's an issue that a lot of folks have with these rooms and why they don't like them but if you do close that shade it will bring the room a little bit cooler so keep that in mind you can also control the lights here so you can see the, the lights turned down uh, or I can turn them all the way up there's also several uh, moods here you can do uh, like the sleep mood or mode that's actually going to bring the blind down there's an evening one uh, which will just bring the lights barely up so many different things you can do with the display I've turned the lights all the way back on for our tour now we're going to enter the bathroom and this is a very nice bathroom it's actually a quite spacious bathroom too again considering it's just for one person it's not that significantly less space than what you're going to get in a standard infinite veranda room you can see of course the toilet over here and then on the opposite side you have the shower and the cool thing about this shower is it's a huge shower and i think it's bigger than the showers you're going to get in a standard infinite veranda room it's uh actually i'm going to get all the way in it here and show you just how big it is get all the way over here in the corner um it, 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 huge shower plenty of space in here uh, of course you do have the uh celebrity branded bath wash uh, conditioner and shampoo there that will be filled for your use so you don't have to worry about bringing any of those things unless you just want to uh, you can see of course a very nice sink here walk over here so you can see everything that's included they do include bar soap for you uh, there's also some uh, celebrity branded lotion that they have here there's a shower cap and then there's a vanity set that's provided here for you and then of course you get towels and wash rags and Kleenex uh, two glasses inside of the room for like water and things like that there's also some uh, biodegradable towelettes right there so a very nice bathroom it's a beautiful bathroom and very spacious for just one person there's also some storage down here down below uh, there is a plug-in down here so if you do have hair dryers or other things like that that you're going to need in the bathroom with power uh, you will have that here and then of course towels here are provided so now leaving out of the bathroom we will explore the rest of the stateroom and uh, there is a it looks like there might be some drawers this is kind of misleading but there is sort of a place for you to set things here this is where any uh what i call correspondence so any of the daily planners anything that the ship wants to leave you in terms of like paper they're going to leave it right here um it's just a good place to store things i like to put my key card here so i can have it just to grab before i walk out the door uh, so a nice multi-purpose area for storage right here uh, there is some evian water included here uh, well, it's left here. It's not included. That's the thing I wanted to say. You do have to pay for this. There's also a mini fridge right down here. And you can see that there are uh, mini bottles of liquor. There's uh, potato chips. There's waters. There's wine, beer, and soda in there. However, everything in there is an additional cost. And 
this little sheet here will show you how much and it doesn't matter if you have any of the beverage packages on board you will have to pay extra for these items in the stateroom there's also a room service menu that's left right here and i will say about room service for this particular cabin um, unless you're getting continental breakfast you are going to have to pay a 9.95 room delivery fee plus a 20 percent service charge so uh, over 10 or 11 dollars for room service other than continental breakfast to this particular stateroom there's also a nice little uh you know coral sculpture thing here these are in most of the infinite veranda staterooms on the ship and all of the edge series of ships and i will say while i am on the celebrity ascent right now the brand new ship these rooms are identical no matter which celebrity edge series ship that you're on so celebrity edge celebrity apex celebrity beyond celebrity ascent they all have these solo infinite veranda rooms and they all look and are laid out pretty much the same so now back down here you'll see that you do have a safe included in the room and it's a standard size safe no bigger or smaller than what you'd normally have in any other state room there are also bags down here one for laundry and one just standard tote bag you can take these tote bags they are for you and i like to take them home and take them to the grocery store so just know you can take those when you go now moving over here you will see that there is a desk vanity area in the room and it does include a chair there are drawers here the drawers are very small though you see that's about all the space you're going to get in the drawers so you can't really store a lot of clothes in here in fact i've tried this week and only could put maybe a couple shirts in here again if you're someone who wants drawers you're probably going to want to bring packing cubes or something like that that you can put in the closet because uh, there's just not a lot of drawer space in this room unfortunately also on this desk there is the power box with all the power outlets there's a 220 volt two 110 volt and then two usb ports inside of this power box there's a light switch here for this light on the desk they'll also leave like uh, the art book and here's like a pamphlet for the spa a little notepad with a pencil of course here's the remote control for the tv the tv back here on the opposite wall and then a telephone in the room the cool thing about this telephone is that it does have a usb port over here on the side so if you do have uh, things that you need to plug up in bed you can just plug your usb right there to the phone now this is a queen size bed in the stateroom and it is a queen size mattress which is nice because if you've sold solo in other staterooms before you know the king size bed that they typically have in those are just two twin size beds pushed together so you do have a crease down the middle and i typically wake up in the middle of that but this is a queen size bed so it's nice because you do have a huge bed all to yourself without that crease down the middle and then here is the television now this is the standard size television that they have on all of the staterooms on board the ship so uh just because you're having a solo room doesn't mean you're going to have to uh sacrifice the size of the tv or anything like that so moving right on over here on this side of the bed you do have a lamp and then there's also a light switch right here which doesn't control some of the lights in the room and then there are two usb ports right here and an additional 110 volt outlet and now we come to the infinite veranda area and uh strangely enough even though it's a solo room you do have two chairs here and a table which is nice and then these partitions do close well they should close let me see. everything's in the way it's very tight over here you can see i just hit that chair when i pulled this out so you do have to sort of rearrange the furniture when you want to close these i do close these um right now we're selling my room is facing the north so the sun is actually on the southern side of the ship so not getting that sun right in the room right now so i can keep them open but if the sun's coming right in this room you're going to want to close these partitions and close the shader it's going to get very very warm in here which uh you know no one likes that in their stateroom but i'm gonna you can actually close both of these but i'm gonna open it right back up now one of the things i found challenging uh the few days i've been on here is these chairs and table because it is such a cramped space over here it is hard to get over to the controls for the infinite veranda sometimes so sometimes i'll push one of those chairs all the way in the corner and just have room so i can get by over here but the room steward is always usually going to fix these chairs so uh, it's, sometimes it's like a maze over here and other than that this little area over here being kind of cramped and then this right here being a little cramped getting around this side of the bed you see how close it is to the wall the room is very spacious and doesn't feel cramped at all so now we come to the infinite veranda 
And this is the coolest thing about the entire room because just because you're solo and selling by yourself, you don't have to lose having a veranda like everyone else has. And this is rare for most cruise lines. Most of the time the cruise lines offer only solo rooms in interior and sometimes in ocean view. But here on Celebrity, on the Ed Sheeran ships, they actually have infinite veranda staterooms for single sailors, which is very cool. And you can typically get one of these staterooms uh, for just about half price of what you would pay as a solo person going into a regular infinite veranda room because you'd have to pay double for those. So these are the cheapest rooms that you're likely going to be able to get on the entire ship. And I highly recommend it. I've really enjoyed this room. One thing I will say about these rooms is they do look out over the lifeboats because we are up on deck six. All of the solo rooms are on deck six on all currently four of the Ed Sheeran ships. So you might be looking out. Some of these are marked as obstructed. I picked one that only had a 10% obstruction. So this is what that looks like. So you only have to look out over a lifeboat and I'll show you the view toward the back. There you go. But a very great room and you are in the ship, in the superstructure of the ship a bit more than deck seven is. You can see there is sort of an overhang, but that does provide a little bit more shading, I believe. So I'm gonna step back in the room. These were the controls. I don't think I told you that a minute ago, but I did just lower the infinite veranda using that. You can control this, make it go up using that button there, make it go down using this button here. And then the shade, you operate with these. There is a light here in the infinite veranda you can control that light with this switch right here. So that is it. That completes the tour of the solo or single infinite veranda stateroom here on board the Celebrity Ascent. And again, it's the same for the Celebrity Edge, the Celebrity Apex, Celebrity Beyond, and the Celebrity Ascent. These rooms look exactly the same regardless of which ship that you're sailing on. I will say that there are only, on the Ascent, 32 of these staterooms. They do book up very quickly more and more folks are sailing solo these days so you do want to book your cruise as far in advance as you can not only to ensure that you get the best price on one but to also ensure that you're just going to be able to get one because once these sell out if you want an infinite veranda you're going to be paying double the price so get on there book these as soon as you can my name is zach i am the traveling man if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next adventure